what up, what up? This is Kakaruto, aka Coco. I had to do one more. I had to do one more for you, mother chuckas, you know, so you can get jiggy with it. Um, something I also wanted to touch on, which has been bugging me the fuck out for the past couple of years, and we've all been expecting this. We've all been wanting this game for the longest. But before we do that, uh, this information I'm pulling it off from Polygon as well. Um, yeah, I know, I know. I get all my bullshit from Polygon, but not only from there. I do get it from other sources. But it's just that sometimes when I go in the morning, you know, you're just getting ready for work. Going in, got your favorite website where you check some shit out. Uh, but without further ado, this is the bullshit I came up to last the other two days ago, I think it was. And I was like, I, I should do a video on it, but I didn't want to because I was like, you know what? It just stressed me the fuck out thinking about doing a video on it. But anyways, it's about Final Fantasy VII, people. Uh, we have been waiting for this game for the long, 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 longest ass time in the world. And, you know, I don't know what the fuck is going on. They just keep pushing it back. They keep making adjustments to it. And at the same time, I know they're doing Kingdom Hearts. Um, we, we know these two games are being developed at the same time. It's not in the early stages at this point no more. And who knows what's happening with Kingdom Hearts. It does have an announcement day. I know you're thinking, what the fuck does this have to do with Final Fantasy VII? It has a lot to do with Final Fantasy VII. Both games are connected. As you know, Kingdom Hearts does use some of Final Fantasy characters into this. But... The connection really is that both games were being developed at the same time and, and the bullshit excuse that I woke up two days ago which I which is why I didn't make this video yet and I did it today um, I'm still trying to sink this into my head the excuse they have is that the director Tetsuya Nomura he's pretty much saying that it was announced too early now I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go a little bit into detail as to what the article says and my opinion I just call it bullshit I mean I'm glad it's actually happening I still don't know how that's going to work out as far as the episodes that they're going to be released in episodical uh, waves, I guess, if, if, if that's a term. Um, but they're saying better to get it out there than to have rumors or leaks do it first. Um, at this point, it, I mean, if you don't smell the bullshit, I mean, you can't put perfume, you can't put cat litter over that shit. I mean, it is what it is. Even if it is leaked... A lot of companies can always deny that shit. We've seen this plenty of times with big, big uh, uh, companies, uh, developers, that they just go and say, nope, that's not really what's going to happen. Uh, we'll have more info on this later on and blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. So here we have a picture of um, the favorite character, Cloud, and, you know, uh, the one-winged angel in the background. Uh, as we all know, his name is Sephiroth, um, and the Shinron company, uh it's pretty much an awesome pick of what we can be expecting but the game the game has been pushed for so long and it's like we don't know what the fuck is going on at this point so if if, if you don't know what e3 is you are living under a rock uh e3 just happened you know a few weeks ago and you know we were all anxiously expecting for some news on this you know on the remake and nothing nothing came out so we were all like what the fuck so e3 you know we're just waiting for Square Enix Enix to just be like, hey, you know, we're going to give you a little teaser here and there, maybe like a five second or some bullshit. Give us, throw the gamers a freaking bone. Nothing came out. So we're like, all right, fuck it, whatever. They did have a lot of good stuff that came out of it. Kingdom Hearts was shown. And I had this one running joke with with my boys saying that, hey, you know, we saw Kingdom Hearts. The, the part with the Pirates of the Caribbean looked fucking amazing. That CGI was like off the charts. But in my head, I'm like, the rest of the game looks the same as the other fucking parts of the, like... Part 1, Part 2, 2.5, the re remix, the other bullshit, it looks the same. So we had this running joke that they probably took their sweet ass time just rendering the fucking Pirates of the Caribbean. That once they were done with it, they were like, okay, we can't do much else with the other world. So let's just put it together and just throw it out there for January 29th. Right? Um, I hope that's not the case. But anyways, they're saying that the director confirmed that the game was announced way too early. That's a cold comfort from what the article says, and I have to agree. Like, that's just, you know, just like like having a girlfriend and, you know, you're going to go meet up with her to get a little chitty chitty bang bang. And then you, you, you call her and you say, you know, I can't show up. And she says, why not? I'm like, well, I announced it a bit too early. So sorry, I can't I can't go see you right now. Uh, she's going to be like, what the fuck? That's some bullshit. Anyways, that's not the hero there. But that's my um, that's my analogy as to what pretty much happened. You know, Square en Enix teased us a few years ago and then you know has made us wait three years and nothing has come out of it so um i mean we'll see what happens in the next upcoming months maybe they might have more for us 
I just hope um, whatever happens, they don't announce a launch date because then that's just going to fuck things up. It's going to put too much pressure on the developers. But anyways, um, Nomura pretty much says that I am well aware of the fact that we announced it way too early. But even in the industry, word was beginning to spread that we were working on the game. So we just decided not to keep it more secret and officially reveal it. I, I, again, I call that bullshit, you know, if, if I have something that I'm working on, on developing, even even if people start hearing rumors or they see bits and pieces of it, I'm not going to show my trump card, no pun intended. I'm just, you know, I'm just not going to pretty much try to try to put something out that I don't want people to know. Um, my, my piece of resistance, like they said, I'm just going to put it out later on whenever it's ready masterpieces take their time and you announce them or reveal them when it is you know when it is perfect it doesn't have it to be a perfect time but whenever you, you you feel it's perfect that's when you do it if that makes sense a lot of people who, who are artists they, they know what i'm talking about musicians they know what i'm talking about so um the more it's all diverge that development and both uh you know kingdom hearts and final fantasy 7 remake are being developed in parallel meaning the remake is out of the concept stage so that's kind of good in a sense uh we know that's 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 not bad news but at the same time what can we expect is it going to be like final fantasy 15 beautiful fucking you know game but at the same time it's like they spent too much t- time like crafting it making it look great but it feels like an open sandbox with nothing else to do other than have beautiful fucking characters that look like models walking around just not doing you know things that we were expecting it to do at least it's not a no man's sky type of game don't get me wrong but why make something beautiful if it's not going to be practical it's what i say that's just my opinion um so nomura agreed that kingdom hearts 3 revelation uh was somewhat forced and premature too and he says pretty much deciding when to announce your game to the public is always difficult in our case we receive pressure from the fans even when we do not announce anything people are wanting for new information regardless of whether the game has been announced or not now here's the part <laughs> i want to focus on we received pressure from the fans since when the fuck does a big ass company or even a director say that the fans pressured his ass that's a first to me to me that's just excuses Again, I smelled the poo-poo on him. Uh, not Nothing against Nomura, but it's just that the wording is like, I, I get it. A lot of fans have been waiting for this, but at the same time, it's like, what the fuck, bro? What the fuck? Is this what you're going to tell us? Is this what you're going to give us? But anyways, Nomura said that his preference is that Square Enix reveals its games before rumors or leaks upstage what they're doing. If nothing else, he's being honest about what they're working on, even if that leaves fans tapping their watches for years on end. So as I mentioned before, this was the third year of E3 that's happened that we don't have nothing new on Final Fantasy VII Remake. But I, 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 to give him the benefit of the doubt, I do get Nomura's point of view. Um, you don't want other people revealing what you have in place. You want to pretty much announce shit yourself. But what he needs to understand is that other people don't know in details what you're working on, what, how, what, what your craftsmanship entails. They may know what the outside looks like, but they don't know the details of what components go into it, at least as to what goes in, into the game and what's been happening behind the scenes. So, I mean, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing. It's a double-edged sword. But at the same time, like, come on, we, we've been waiting for this game for the longest. Um, I don't mind it taking a few more years if that is the case. I, I hope not. But, uh, you know, hopefully next year in E3 we get something else for uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. And hopefully there's something something good that comes out of it uh from from kingdom hearts 3 not that i'm saying it's gonna have anything related to final fantasy 7 but depending on how good kingdom hearts 3 looks we might get a little teaser as to what could be potentially happening with final fantasy 7 remake so we'll see what happens uh but anyways let me know your thoughts uh how, how much longer you think they're gonna take is it a good thing that he gave us this excuse as far as the director nomura what are your thoughts? Let me know. Um, anyways, this is Kakaroto, aka Coco, signing off. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace!